resolutions for 2020. Okay, well, we'll look back on my resolutions now and then we'll go through to the resolutions of for next year. Jeez, it got dark quick. Ugh, I don't want to have to do that. I need a new light. It, it's gonna have to do. First resolution was to work on the channel, I think. We can already say I failed that, but that was for obvious reasons like mental health. There's been a lot going on with YouTube right now that's kind of scaring me out of it and into streaming. Oh yeah, <laughs> gonna keep streaming into the new year. I'm gonna, wait, that'll be a resolution. Shh. Continue working on mental health was the second one and I had a breakdown, so I guess kind of did because it made me change my meds. Um, that's gonna be a continuing thing throughout the years, so it doesn't really matter that much. Revisit book. I got about four chapters in before I got really busy and just couldn't do it anymore. I had too many commissions and too much YouTube, I was working all the time. So I didn't get a chance to do that this year, sadly. Try and do exercise or yoga. I've started doing yoga again for my back because I need to stretch it out a lot because I have a lot of problems with my back. Um, I didn't do that much. I did it in the beginning of the year and I didn't really get through the rest of the year. My actual job is very heavily manual labor. So I do a lot of heavy lifting and stuff when I'm there. I'm actually a lot stronger than I used to be. I have some muscle now. Um, so, you know, it tires me out quite a lot. So I don't really get, I don't have the energy to exercise. But I do what I can when I can. I did do that. I did stream more on Twitch. Didn't really get anywhere with it. And then Dom told us about this place he used to stream called Mixer and mentioned that there'd be less competition in there. And so far, I'm doing pretty well, so I'm gonna try and continue with that. Did I mention my weight? Because I don't know. No, I didn't mention my weight. I can tell you now that I have lost a lot of it. <laughs> I might have gained a little bit back, but I lost a lot of it. Because in the beginning of the year, I had a binge eating disorder. I've had a binge eating disorder since I was about 11, I wanna say. And throughout the years, it kinda got progressively worse and off and on. My weight fluctuates a lot, so I can get quite big and then I can get quite small. Uh, this year I was big, needless to say, or well, last year I was quite big and then in the beginning of this year, still quite big, um, but as I changed my medication, my binge eating disorder kind of disappeared and I almost stopped com eating completely, so I lost shit tons of weight really quickly. Um, it's kind of reversed back on itself now. I'm in a weird stage of one week I can just never eat and I can survive or the other week I'm just eating all the time. Uh, I don't know how much I weigh. I will do that later and then I'll just put it in here or something. Um, but I do, I'm a lot skinnier and I will say it and I'm actually quite happy with my body which is something I've never said before. Oof, okay. We'll use the vest. I'm not gonna show you my tummy tummy. I don't wanna get, you know, fined by YouTube or whatever. But it's in a completely different state than it was last year. Like, my waist is more inwards here. I can feel the bones in my love handles. Um, you know, I have a little bit of an overhang, but I've always had that, 
I don't really know if I'm going to get rid of it or not. The only problems I've had this year are with my ass and my thighs. <laughs> I've lost so much weight off my face. Um, my double chin. So yeah, I'm a lot skinnier in the top half. But then you get to my legs and I can't wear jeans anymore a lot of the time. My bottom half of my body is a lot bigger because I'm sitting down a lot in gaming and stuff, so I have that problem. But I am happier with my body, which is something I haven't been able to say for a very long time. It is partly due to the fact that I lost a lot of weight, but it is also partly due to the fact that Damien tells me 10 times a day that I look good. So <laughs> you'll see. Um, he's a very big motivator. Like in my last relationship, um, when, yeah, it was a lot of my self doubt and them not having the ability to help with that. So, with this relationship with Damien, he's able to help the self doubt, and the self doubt is like this big now. It used to be this big, it's like this big. So, resolutions for 2020, a new decade, new me. I'm gonna be more true to myself, I guess you could say. More true to what I like and what I dislike. No hiding it no more. I've been hiding it kinda for a long time. Um, trying to put on this like innocent persona. And then throughout this year, I've really come out of my shell and just, shown what's really up here a lot of lewdness <laughs> if you watched we play Raja I'm very lewd um in reality I'm I'm still quite naive I guess most of the time but it depends how I'm feeling so just be more true to myself this year um I actually got through the Resolution be nicer to myself, so Right my resolutions mainly are gonna be a bit more about work instead of me, I guess Second resolution meet Damien <laughs> Against all odds meet him in 2020 gain a bigger audience, I guess like really put effort into my streaming and my YouTube and really try and take off with it because i know i can make good content for people i just have a really hard time with getting people to watch it and i don't know why and it's driving me insane art do more with my art like really do more do commissions properly and don't take on projects that are too big for you <laughs> like i did this year I love doing my art. I got an actual drawing tablet, a display tablet for it. So the quality is a lot better. I just need to work on my time management with it, but I really want to do stuff with it, like commissions and yeah. Do more cosplays, I guess. The resolution is to continue working on mental health and look towards getting new jobs that pay more and don't take up as much of my, like, energy, that's the word, sorry. 7. Wear normal clothes during the day. I have a problem with wearing PJs all the time. I want to be better and wear actual clothes during the day. To have fun, just, you know, stop being so damn serious about things all the time and just loosen up a bit, I guess. 2019's over, the decade's over. Honestly? Scary, but like exciting. Exciting for a new start. Excited for the new part of my life I'm entering because I'm 21 now, so I'm entering that part of my life, you know, the 20s, where things really start to happen now. <laughs> it's not about high school or anything anymore, it's about the real world and jobs and 
possibly marriage and kids and stuff and I'm, I'm excited. So, I'm going to say goodbye 2019. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. So tired. Oh god. Um, yeah. Thanks for giving me some stuff, like friends, and not thanks for mental breakdown. Um, the 2019 montage is coming soon, I swear. I've just been so overloaded. I had three days to finish filming everything I needed to, to edit it all and get it up because I'm working four days this week, I'm working 30th, 31st, 1st first and 2nd, so I don't know how many time in that little New Year's span to get things done, so thank you for watching, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and share with your friends, subscribe to see new content next year, especially the montage, I'm excited for the montage, um, follow me on all my social media, Mixer, Twitch, or Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, everything like that. Follow all my friends because I love them and I shall see you next year I guess. <sighs> Bye.